Misha, from the first day I met you, I knew you were someone I could connect to. Even if it was just our common interest around you, I could be myself and enjoy our time together. Ever since, that feeling has grown and manifested time and time again. As I got to know you better, you became my reason to get up in the morning. I'd be motivated to finish work just so I could get a chance to talk to you again. I'd think up ideas and things to talk about just to please you or get you excited. Me and you changed my world, and while change is hard, I've never looked back. Seven years have gone by so quick, it feels like just yesterday I was driving up to visit you, anxious to finally see you in person. Each time we met, I've learned something new. The food you like, the way you laugh, the things that excite you and make you smile, the surprising things you didn't know and your incredible wit. The more I learned, the more I admired you, and that continues even today. Misha, you amaze me. Feelings of belonging, hope, and peace come to the forefront of describing our relationship for me. There's a saying, you don't know what you have until it's gone. I felt this every time you drove home, every time I drove home, those far ago, but many years of long distance dating, that hard pulling feeling of parting. I felt this every time during the long and the short weeks, looking forward to our daily call in spite of all of the office chaos. It has been a short time that has felt like a long time since those days, since we built our home, adopted our Davina, struggled together, laughed together, stressed together, lived and loved together. Playing Pokemon together and with our friends. <laughs> Misha and Alexei, I think I can speak for everyone here when I say that our wish for you and for your marriage is that you do indeed take time to enjoy the good parts, to keep having fun together, keep being there for each other, and that your journey together will always be a meaningful and a joyful one. And so Misha and Alexei, here you stand today ready to take the next step in the journey that you began almost seven years ago, but which will actually take a lifetime to complete. You will do this now by making your wedding promises to each other. You amaze me with your creativity and humble me with your thoughtfulness. You impress me with your strength and perseverance. Tackling tasks with such intensity, it makes me want to push harder myself. You surprise me with the things you find, the ideas you make up. 
making me crack up in laughter at the oddest thing. When things are quiet, we can relax together, enjoy the simple company of having someone you really connect to. When life gets hard, I'm reassured that I have someone next to me who will stay by me. It takes it take me too long to list all the things I love about you, but I want you to know. I love your smile, your outburst, and your antics. I love your art, and I love your voice. I love your intellect and your passion. I adore you, and I treasure every day I'm next to you. I'll be with you each and every day. You make me laugh, you make me smile, you make me confused, and you make me feel safe. When I'm with your smiling face, I'm filled with such adoration I feel I might burst. I know things won't be perfect. Life is never simple and we've had our share of hardships. We'll go through tough times and sad times, but there's no one I'd rather face them with. I promise that no matter what, or what comes, I'll be there for you. I might, all, might not always have the answer, but I'll do I, all I can to make things better for you and for us. I promise that no matter what, I'll always love you with all my heart. I've never been somebody looking for love, for a relationship, so as we learned about each other, shared our pastimes and hopes and dreams and tiredness and sorrow, we grew closer, are closer, minute by hour by day to months and now years. You become a comforting and, const and constant and wonderful presence in my life. We share so much from books and shows to hobbies and friends, yet we are so deeply unique and I'm sure you would agree stronger together. Reflecting on all this, truly the simplest and shortest word has to be belonging. A deep bond of love and belonging. It's funny to think how time passes, but regardless, here's the truth unchanged. You have my heart, and I yours. Though I hope the future is bright, we faced hardships together before. Much as they strain the heart, I vow to you that we will face them as one. We will face the future together, <laughs> and the past together, and most of all, live in the present together. I promise to cherish, to stand by, to support you always, my dear partner. I love you, Alexa. And at the end of your lives, may you be able to say these two things to each other. Because you have loved me, you have given me faith in myself. And because I have seen the good in you, I myself have become a better person. Alexei and Misha, for as much as you have made your vows to one another in the presence of loved ones, and have declared the same by giving and receiving your rings, I pronounce you husband and wife. I invite you to share your first kiss as a married couple. <laughs> Friends and family, it gives me great pleasure to present to you Alexei and Misha Belial Rigo. Thank you.
my name's Brandon. I am Alexei's best man. That is where he made his first mistake. Because he asked me to prepare a few words, and I did. And in those of you who do know me, expect this. I'm not gonna use them at all. <laughs> During his vows, he talked about the car rides up to go visit Misha. I was there on many of them. And there was one time he had a panic attack. And I will tell you right now, the only thing that consoled him was talking about Misha. <laughs> I knew right then, right there, that this was coming. Just like the rest of you did. All of us knew we were going to reach this point. Because just look at the two of them. I mean, come on. Look, 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 at, look at that. Just look at that. I met him at RIT at a Magic the Gathering event, and within about 30 seconds knew this human being is a physical embodiment of chaos. Wait, what? And Nisha is the counterbalance. There is a perfect sense of harmony and tranquility between the two of them that I have never seen before and highly doubt I will ever see again. So, to keep things simple and short, Alexei, you did it. <laughs> Misha, Misha, I'm sorry. <laughs> to the happy couple. Samantha Emhart. Um, I went to high school with Misha. And while Misha went to college in New York, I stayed in Boston. We tr tried to keep in touch over the years, um, both online and in person with the Rare Meetup. We tried playing many different games together, but of course the one we played the most was Pokemon. We never really battled a lot, but we shared um, Pokemon and stories and excitement when everything new and exciting was happening, and it was always wonderful. And I met um, Alexei recently um, when he was together with Misha, and one of the things we had been doing was playing uh, a Pokemon tabletop game. And Alexei has to be the one to put these games together and do all this prep work. And he's always been very kind and patient. And it's always been amazing when I've gotten to play with the both of them together. Um, they're great for each other. The way they bounce ideas off one another and how they make each other laugh. How one of them will say something and the other will just light up. I can see the joy. Um, on their faces and how deeply they care for one another, how they cherish one another, the jokes and laughter and joy they so easily share. The bond they share may have been started with Pokemon, but it goes far deeper than any game. It takes real work and empathy to get to where they are. Misha and Alexei are a wonderful couple. I know they will continue to support each other through thick and thin, and be able to always make each other just burst out laughing. So congratulations, Misha and Alexei. Toast to the newlyweds. I am the very opposite of Brandon, in which I will be very much sticking to my words. Um, I'm Nikki, I am the sister of Alexei. And when Alexei first told me about Misha, he asked me for advice because he had never had someone he had cared for as much and was never so scared of messing something up before. I know he also asked Brandon and several other people for advice at the time. Every year I've had the blessing of watching their love grow and it's never ceased to amaze me. I won't go into too much detail simply to give, keep their lives private, not that I have any trouble embarrassing you. Ooh. But I can say for certain that no one can comfort Alexei like Misha can, no one can make him as happy as she can, 
and nothing aside from a good steak can make him cry with joy like she can. <laughs> and while I'm less familiar with Misha's end, I'm sure she could say the same about my brother. For seven years, their love has been a beautiful beacon that's brightened the lives of those who have been blessed to be around them. And so a toast to Alexei and Misha, to their love, and to many more years together. Alexei and Misha.